traders, hello, and non-traders, if you're new to the channel, welcome, sorry about this, I'm just on the couch, it's a little bit warmer and more pleasant in the lounge room today, uh, early start as well, so I wanted to make a video uh, yesterday, I didn't get a chance to later in the evening, um, it would have been like 9.30 and I had to get up at 2.30 for, uh, for an early start, so I do apologize, um, but the watch list video was unchanged from when I illustrated uh, this little here that I was watching for a break of, which was 83.60. So, um, European session now, and we're strengthening into uh, this point. But, I mean, how I would approach this is I won't take this today. I'd like to see it hold and break through tomorrow. So, nothing, <laughs> nothing exciting here. I mean, currently it's tested, it's rejected at, you know, one, two three, four, four times already today. So to just to get in now would be really senseless. I kind of like this would be really sweet to see uh, and close above that. But I'm going to continue waiting uh, for and, and for tomorrow and see what it does. All right, so USD Yen. Uh, let's open up this chart here. And I had been watching oil as well. Um, shout out to the full-time trader TSS. Uh, who's been helping me out with a few ideas, so I'll be paper trading that, I won't be uh, live trading that, but I'll be going lower time frames, the hourly, I'll be, I'll be trying a few things out, and I'll keep everyone updated about that as well to see how it goes. Look at my hair, it's crazy. It gets really thick and unmanageable. Uh, that's good though, I still haven't lost my hair yet. So, Alright, so the USDN is interesting. That's pretty nice price action currently. Um... Uh, I think there's some data out from Japan today as well. I was watching uh, just ABC News just in the background. I was sorting a few things out for my uh, uh, my trading job in September now. I, I got it moved. Had a friend's wedding, so it's not going to interfere with that. It was going to get really crazy. I was going to be flying in and out of Sydney to Perth, Sydney to Perth a few times. So um, this is this has worked out a lot better. And got the leave approved as well. So I'm still working. I'm... Uh, I'm gonna milk that cow as much as I can, and you know until I, you know, have to leave. But uh, anyway, I'll be keeping everyone updated about that as well. I won't be able to cover a lot of things in the course. Um, it's a two-week initial thing with uh, Star Beta in Sydney, so look it up. It's a real thing. Um, they're a prop firm, and I'll see how it goes. There's very minimal risk on the table for me with that. I'm obviously really keen on it, and then after that, it, it sort of goes from there when it comes to uh, you know, the intensive training and then uh, capital allocation as well. So it's completely different than what I'm doing here, um, but I'm open to it. So this is the USD Yen, uh, currently at uh, 112485. Now, I made a live video about this as well on Instagram. You know, follow me, check out Scotty's Trading. It's a lot easier for me uh, than to um, put out a edited, you know, video with chart analysis, although... Uh, I wish I wish I could do a live video on my phone with the chart captured because uh, I would love to do that. You know, even when I'm driving because I spend a bit of time in the car, not too much, but it's like you know 40 minutes a day. Um, I'd love to you know do that, but I think I might do some more yeah, YouTube live stuff as well. So I've got the internet now. Um, as you can see, the speed isn't too bad. Finally, I've got the MBN. Um, it just keeps rising, that in its speed, <laughs> it just keeps going. So that's good. I finally got that sorted. So I probably won't be doing a lot of live stuff until, what's today, the 17th. I think the internet on my mobile data refreshes in one or two days. So once I, I get 20 gigs a month. So I'm going to do a lot more live stuff, guys, because um, obviously I still work full time. Um, I, I want to transition to a you know, full time trader, maybe less work, but that's I'm exploring those options, to be honest. So, I mean, it, it appears that with my work, I can go down to 20 hours a week. Uh, I mean, I'm more than 40. I mean, last week it was like 70 hours. So, I'm just going to try and keep working and working and saving and saving. And then, uh, you know, just manage an account size that means I don't have to work as much. But again, what I'm seeing is I'm going to have to go down to the lower time frames and get a little more adaptable. But I'll be back testing and uh, demo trading in the simulator a little bit as well on that. So, um, but yeah, let, let's give this guy a shout out actually. So this is what I'm currently watching. 
but um a channel that I would recommend and I know I don't get a lot of viewers watching this but what I pride myself on is being honest open you know I don't sell anything I'm not selling any courses or anything like that if you do want to get in touch with me uh, I, I do uh, accountability stuff but the first calls free um, and then after that it's like 50 bucks a week and you can call me a few times and I'm doing that with a few people just keeping them accountable to the rules so I'm not selling you a course you just tell me your rules and I keep you accountable um, my background is strength conditioning and sports science and personal training I did four and a half years of university of postgraduate so I've worked for professional athletes so it's it's um I enjoy that I enjoy Kim Peel accountable good friend of mine Connor Murphy uh, he's improved his trading quite a bit, so, but, yeah, just, I don't make enough money from trading to uh, go full-time, but I have noticed that the YouTube subscriptions are up a little bit, and I do appreciate that, so thank you, everyone, who's recently subscribed. Guys, feel free, shoot me an email, scott.andrews275 at gmail.com. For the people that have, you know, I answer you, you know, I'm, I'm in comments, I always get back to comments straight away, or if not, straight away. If I don't get the notification, sometimes it's weird with the notification. I won't get it for a while. It's not, um, if I'm not on YouTube for a little bit, it doesn't like pop up on my phone like a text message. So, But I'm on YouTube every day. So you might comment just after I'm off, but I will be, you know, normally every 12 hours at least I'm checking. Probably more than that because I'm just interested to check subscribers and viewers and you know, just make minor tweaks to the videos and what's working and what's not working. But um, this gentleman here, a full-time trader out of Melbourne, and he's helped me with a few ideas and things like that. So I'm still keeping the trend trading on the four hour and the one hour, but now I'm I'm doing a little bit of other stuff as well in the background. So this is the gentleman who has helped me with that. So, you know, feel free to reach out to him. And, you know, only serious traders, though, like, Don, he reached out to me, and I appreciate that, so, um, and his content, you know, he hasn't made a lot of videos, but they're extremely helpful, very, very helpful insights, and just realistic, you know, because there's so many courses out there that you see, especially on Facebook and Instagram, because especially now, I've liked a couple of groups that I share my videos on, and it's just a free-for-all, like, the algorithms, it's just like, they, so many recommended pages. And it's always the same. They're selling that dream. They're selling that dream. You have to understand that, you know, so many people trade and not many people make money. And then even fewer make a consistent profit. So, you know, it's interesting to know the statistic. I would say less than 5% of people that trade um, would make consistent profits and, and you know, make a living. Probably even less, really. I mean, if you think about it, and you know, even if you had a hundred thousand dollar account, which in my opinion is a lot, and you're making like two percent, three percent a month, two percent, three percent a month is is good, like with good risk management. So I'm talking no low volatility, good sharp ratio. That's a lot, um, to be honest. So compared to like hedge funds, investment banks, mutual funds. If you really dissect trading, that's quite a lot to make like over 30% in a year. But that's still only $3,000 a month. So, yeah. A, this is another good channel here, this guy. Let's click that. This guy's cool too. I'm just shouting people out right here. Been up since 2:30, so I'm gonna probably have a nap soon. But uh, I just wanted to make this video, and um, to the gentleman that reached out to me as well on via email today from Perth, thank you. I'm assuming you got my contact information from YouTube as well, and now the internet's freaking, freaking. The Aussie share trader. So give him a. Subscribe as well, guys, and like his stuff because he's again, you know, you if you're someone who has good, you know, common sense, you're gonna know a scammer because a scammer is gonna be it's like watching an infomercial. And Connor and I, we did a video recently. Uh, Connor's channel is Forex Connor. Let's just bring that up. I'm on a bit of a tangent, there's not really a lot to talk about on the charts, honestly. Aussie Yen, but again. 
trust me, that you see time and time you get sucked in on Monday. You get, you will, and then just reverts and does the exact opposite of what happens on Monday. It is interesting with Japan. I'm just watching the um, the flood situation as well. I mean, it's not like a major enough incident. 250 dead. Dozens missing. It's not like that major tsunami that knocked out the uh, nuclear plant. And it's not nice how I sort of talk about this, but that's a catalyst. Something like that is an actual disaster. That's going to, you know, can potentially weaken a currency for a little while. So, but doesn't seem to be major enough. So that's why I say the Aussie yen is interesting because it does have that catalyst as well from a fundamental sense. Um, I'm talking fundamentals a little bit now. I'm sort of, you know, realizing in the one hour time frames. You know, I'm, I'm going to have to be aware of that a little bit more instead of being completely you know, belligerent to <laughs> the fundamental stuff. All right, so Forex Connor, let's bring this. So this this is a video, guys, that we made. If you're a beginner trader and you don't know what we're talking about, so he doesn't have a lot of subscribers. You know, just because someone doesn't have a lot of subscribers doesn't mean you know like you should just disregard the channel completely. All right, so Forex Connor, Trade Talk, um, Scam Watch Highlights. So um, we're putting, we've actually done another one as well, and Connor's trying to uh, get that up. But we're trying to do it once a week. Um, but yeah, so Forex Connor, Scam Watch, that's going to be, if not once a week, definitely twice a week. Um, so that's, that's the video, guys. In conclusion, uh, let's finish on the Aussie Yen. So Aussie Yen is... Is the prime watch right now? So that's the the A1 watch, and we'll see what it wants to do on the four hour. How's it looking? I'm gonna keep watching that. That's that's interesting. So gonna keep watch. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trading, and uh, good luck. Bye for now.